Hello, I'm Mark. I am a man who's around 50, and I'm into astrology, and I'm a Christian. As a Christian, I'm not looking forward to the vi I'm curious about it, of course, but I'm not looking forward to the violence that will surround Joseph Biden's uh, inauguration. Let the process go. I'm a conservative. Let the process go like it should. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter at this point if Trump quote-unquote won or Trump or Biden quote-unquote won. Biden will apparently be the next president. I have little doubt that he will be, but we're going to have, we're looking at violence, unfortunately, on the inauguration day. There are 25,000 um, National Guard are being vetted to make sure that they will protect the president and not harm the president or the, pre the president-elect. But on the day he should become the president, you know, I preferred Trump. I preferred Trump. I, did, I don't like politicians. I don't like Trump. I don't like Biden. But I, I feel that if we have a Republican in office, we have more likelihood that we won't have crazy liberal policies. You know, things don't go as nuts, supposedly. Although now we have infanticide because of Trump. Because Trump, because of the opposition to Trump, now we have infanticide and partial birth abortion. <sighs> Crazy. Crazy. I'd like to see some scum, some Democrats who are against abortion. It would be nice to see some Democrats who are against abortion. Um... My neighbor's playing music. Um, it's almost 12 o'clock midnight. I want to make this before it's too late. Uranus will be aspect. Well, Uranus will be aspecting Mars in Taurus. Uranus going through Taurus probably means we'll eventually have new money in the United States and new monies worldwide. During this period, this long period, I think it's eight years, is that right? Six years for Uranus to go through a sign? Something like that, seven years, like seven years, something like that, seven and a half years for Uranus to go through a sign. It's been in um, Taurus for some time. Taurus has to deal with money, has to do with money. Sat or, or Mars is conjunct Uranus in Taurus that is very abrupt and upheavalish type of that's a word it talks about upheaval violent upheaval with Mars conjunct Uranus for this inauguration day um, it's almost exactly conjunct an aspect Saturn in Aquarius which um would also add to this mentality of, of group I, I, identity, a group identity um, with Saturn in Aquarius. I'm glad Saturn is in Aquarius. I'm not an Aquarian, I'm a Leo, but it's a partner sign to Leo, and I have, at some, it's, it, on some of the charts, Relate to my birth chart. I have a few planets in Aquarius. Not in my birth chart exactly. Not in my base chart. So, this is showing um, the date. So, I'm not messing with anybody. It is 20 degrees. Let me see. Where are we here? It is 20 degrees in here. 20 degrees Celsius. Um... It is almost Tuesday. This clock is fast. It is the 19th of January. A little past, almost 12 o'clock. This is fast. It's almost exactly 12 o'clock. But you can see, this is Tuesday. The inauguration is Wednesday. 
and I want to make this before it got, got later. January 19th. So people don't say I made it afterwards and made a prediction that really wasn't a prediction that was just, you know, a retelling of events. This is the 19th or will be the 19th in about a minute um, because that clock is over 20 minutes fast. Uh, a day before Inauguration Day. We will have violence. It will not be pretty. I'm not happy about it. I'm a conservative. I'm a Christian. Conservatives don't want violence and Christians don't want violence. Um, we uh, ideally a true Christian, a true Christian, and a true conservative would accept the government that they are dealt, and we are dealt this government. Uh, there will be no uprisings or things like that. Uh, that is kind of a rebel thing. That's more of a liberal thing. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, to to be protesting and, and rioting, that's more of a liberal thing. And we've seen that in Portland. I've also seen that in D.C. As I've said, some of them are supposedly Antifa. They've been identified as Antifa and Black Lives Matter that went on the Capitol. They're trying to tear this country apart and they will be successful and will implant a communist government. I'm absolutely sure about this. We're not moving left with, with Pluto coming back to its native position to just leave us somewhere in the middle. We'll go all the way left. Conservative outlets, as they are being shut down now, conservative outlets will be shut down. There will be a one-party system like the Soviet Union a one-party system like North Korea, a one-party system like Venezuela, a one-party system like Cuba. Venezuela is not completely communist, but it's getting there. Uh, and one of the things, I like to add this, and I know people get pissed off with this, I don't care, but um, the Venezuelan people, when they got what they have now, which is poverty, and... Um, starvation you know you could see, I saw somebody go to Venezuela and somebody wrote hambre on the wall which means hunger and then somebody somebody else wrote maybe somebody else maybe the same person wrote maldito uh, Maduro Maduro is the president or leader of Venezuela and it means cursed Maduro I don't want this leftist stuff to happen in my country, uh, but Saturn, Saturn and Aquarius is a leftist type of thing. Not necessarily, but it can be. It, it often is when it comes to politics. And um, It is for our country. It's a move left. They will use the violence that occurs, that's considered to be on the right, they will use the violence that occurs as an excuse to crack down even harder on, on platforms like Parler, which they've completely obliterated, and um, to crack, crack down on Facebook and, and YouTube and Twitter and Instagram. They will crack down harder on, on things that are considered fake news, which uh, Trump started the, started the phrase fake news, but fake news or things that do not fit the narrative that they want to say. They will crack down on it, especially after the violence on this um, inauguration day with Joseph Biden, soon to be President Joseph Biden, in a little bit more than a day, about a day and a half, and we'll have President Joseph Biden, and I, I will pray for him, just like I prayed for Trump, and I'll pray for Jill Biden and, and Kamala Harris and their families. Um, bitterness is not a Christian value. 
but there will be violence. Um, I'm sorry to say. And there will be problems. Probably a leftist crackdown on the right more in, in the aftermath. And that's my report. God bless you. And if I can get some sleep, I'll try to.